The House voted late Tuesday to censure Rashida Tlaib of Michigan, the only Palestinian-American in Congress, an extraordinary rebuke of her rhetoric about the Israel-Hamas war. The 234 to 188 tally came after enough Democrats joined with Republicans to censure Tlaib, a punishment one step below expulsion from the House. Republican Rich McCormick of Georgia pushed the measure in response to what he called Tlaib's promotion of anti-Semitic rhetoric. He said she has levied unbelievable falsehoods about our greatest ally, Israel, and the attack on October 7. With other Democrats standing by her side, Tlaib defended her stance, saying she will not be silenced and I will not let you distort my words. She added that her criticism of the Jewish state has always been directed toward its government and its leadership under Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Gentleman's recognized for 30 seconds. I'm the only Palestinian American serving in Congress, Mr. Chair, and my perspective is needed here now more than ever. I will not be silenced and I will not let you distort my words. The idea that criticizing the government of Israel is anti-Semitic sets a very dangerous precedent, and it's being used to silence diverse voices speaking up for human rights across our nation. Do you realize what it's like, Mr. Chair, for the people outside the chamber right now, listening in agony to their own government dehumanizing them? To hear the President of the United States, we helped elect, dispute death tolls as we see video after video of dead children and parents under rubble. Mr. Chair, do you know what it's like to fear rising hate crimes, to know how Islamophobia and anti-Semitism makes us all less safe. Gentlelady yields back. Gentleman from Maryland Reserves.